Stalking him was like waiting for Godot. He never came, and I was happy when it ended. I may be gay, Jay, but I don't play lay games with men who put out an ooh, baby, baby, what can you do for me vibe. Frankly, Frank, I would rather be bored and single than paired and annoyed. I don't give a flying fuck if it doesn't feel the same with it on, John. Jim's Jimmy best be wrapped, lest he inspire me to cut that shit off at the sack. This message of appropriate massage is dedicated to all the Jays, Frank, Steve, Sam's, and Sylvester's who screw their souls into their own coffins. Two decades of AIDS education go swirling down a vacuous drain at the Bates Motel because a condom clasps Dick's dick, wraps itself around his shaft like a straitjacket, and then he expects me to back it up? My brother lover, HIV and apathy are two words that don't belong in the same death sentence. Last year, more media attention was given to email viruses than AIDS. We have forgotten there is a quilt large enough to swallow cities. Gobble up yellow brick roads, steal the water from Dorothy before she throws it on the wicked witch of West Hollywood, but rainbows bend, my friend. We pop our eyes into compliance and a reliance on drugs to bury in our head the number of men and women dead as we lie on our bed. Pretend we're living in 70s disco technicolor San Francisco. But boy, save your stupid bet. I don't gamble on uncertain sex. I will not forget or let any lover convince me that he's a wizard instead of a man behind a curtain. In 2003, I, after a decade of not testing anything but the limits of my own sanity, learned that I was HIV. Negative. <laughs> Only a single day after learning a man I love and adore will spend the rest of his life branded by the gay Scarlet A. I have tried so hard to believe in justice. But the world started looking a lot less blue that day. It lost its hue and its magnificent beauty. HIV and me will never be fair pairs or a couplet at the end of a swan song gone wrong. I've spent years running trembling fingertips over lymph nodes praying they don't turn into braille. Hell, for 10 years, I confused my skinny frame for pulling the card of death from the tarot. A pharaoh soothsaying whisper to me as I fuck one last time without caring about the risks, but those days are gone, John, because I will wrap myself in that quilt. I will respect the living and I will remember the dead because no head is worth its weight in stone. <laughs>